What's up Blockheads, this is Fitch Lions here with a real quick mod pack creation tutorial on the Technic platform. I'm going to leave a step-by-step -step list in the description below as well as timestamps. Uh, also all the links that you're going to need here to create the mod pack are going to be provided as well below in the description. My uh, link to my Discord and my Discord username are going to be there as well in case you guys have any additional questions after the tutorial. So let's get into this. Real quick, all you're going to have to do is create a user on the Technic platform. Uh, once you've done that, you simply click over here on the drop bar. Uh, you're going to want to go down here to create a mod pack. Just name it something simple. Uh, if it, there is another mod pack with the same username, it isn't going to go through uh, with the creation. So just be mindful of that. Okay, so this next part here, the Minecraft version is actually pretty important because you're going to need the Minecraft version to match all of the mods that you're adding to your mod pack. As well as a quick note here, in case this is your issue, anything past 1.12.2 is not going to function as a mod pack with the Technic launcher uh, because Minecraft Forge changed their source code. So 1.12.2 is going to be the newest version of Minecraft that you can use to make a mod pack on the Technic platform. So if you're using anything after 1.12.2, the mod pack is not going to function. Alright, short description, YouTube tutorial. Just throw whatever in there, it's not going to matter, you can always change it later. Uh, the mod pack terms, it's going to outline all the general rules and everything like that. Uh, this is actually pretty good to read through. It takes about two to three minutes. Uh, it's going to tell you everything you need to do if you don't want your mod pack deleted off the Technic platform. Obviously agree to terms and create the mod pack. Now the Technic Launcher um, mod pack webpage is created here. Uh, this is all the further we're going to need to go here for the moment. I'm going to show you actually how to build the mod pack itself now. Okay, so the Second step after you've actually created your Technic platform uh, web page is you're going to want to go over and get your mods. Now use curseforge.com because you don't run the risk of getting spyware or viruses on this website, unlike a lot of other sketchy websites that you're going to download the mods from. So I'd use CurseForge exclusively. Uh, it's just an easy platform to use and the mods never have viruses with them. So you're going to go over here to Minecraft. You're going to want to make sure for because for some reason it defaults here on mod packs. You're going to want to make sure that you're over on mods itself. Now, this next part is one of the beautiful features of using Curse Forge. You just go over to game version, scroll down to the game version that you're using. So, for this tutorial, we're using 1.12.2. Let that load. Now every mod in this list has um, a 1.12.2 version, which makes it so we can just hit download here and get the mod if you already know what you're looking for. But there is something I do want to point out um, with some of these mods here. Let's get a journey map to, and then I'm not sure if there's going to be what mod I could use to um, demonstrate this. We'll just use Iron Chest real quick. Okay, so here on Iron Chest, we're going to download this mod. Now, there's going to be a couple different versions. We didn't just hit the download button. I believe if we hit download right here, it's going to download the 1.12.2 version. But just to be careful, we'll go over here to uh, Files. <laughs> Okay, so what you do to find the proper um, download that you're going to need here for your version of Minecraft is you just look over here at game version. It's going to tell you which one uh, you'll need. So this is going to be the most updated version of Iron Chest um, for 1.12.2. So we're going to download that. Now this next part is also a great feature about Curse. Now you go over to Relations and it says dependencies here. So luckily there's no results that were found. If you download a mod, which is why I recommend using CurseForge, 
and it has a dependency mod. So what that means is, in order to run iron chests on the mod pack, there could be another mod that runs iron chests that we have to have downloaded in order for iron chests to work. Thankfully, there's no dependency, so we don't have to do that. But this is always good to check on the mods that you download. Real simple to do, go over to relations. If there's a dependency mod, something that you need to run this mod, you can download it right here. Well, now that we've got our mods downloaded, I will show you where to get Minecraft Forge. So next, you're gonna wanna download Minecraft Forge itself. This is what's gonna run the actual mods here. So we're gonna wanna go over here to 1.12.2. There we go. And there's all the game versions below here. Honestly, I would either just download the latest or the recommended. Usually latest, just because it's gonna be the most updated with, especially with uh, mods that are already out for a Minecraft version as old as 1.12.2. I just hit uh, the latest. Make sure that you click universal because the other um, versions of the download can kind of be a pain in the ass to work with uh, or they just don't work right. So click the universal download file. It's going to take you to one of these little uh, ad screens to get the download. Um, you're just going to have to sit there and wait a second. I got ad block or something. I'm going to have to bother looking at whatever clickbait they put right here make sure you click right up here where it says skip and that is the actual download link for the minecraft forge okay so we have minecraft forge downloaded now uh, i'm going to show you how to set up the actual files here for the mod pack okay so you're going to want to create a folder on your desktop you can name this whatever you want this isn't going to affect anything so let's do YouTube tutorial okay so once we have the base folder created you just go inside that you're gonna wanna create two folders this one is gonna be called bin the next folder you wanna create is going to be called mods okay so we're gonna to want to go over here to the bin folder open this up go to your downloads so what I'm gonna to want to do here is take the minecraft forge that we downloaded put that inside the bin folder what you want to do is rename this just to mod pack all lowercase now after we've named the Minecraft Forge file mod pack, you want to go back into that main folder, go to your mods, just go ahead and drag and drop all of your mods here into that folder. Simple enough. Now this next part is very, very important. You're going to want to get um, WinRAR, free download, I'll put it in the links uh, in the description if you don't already have it available to you. What you do is you take both these folders, do not place them inside of another, like do not zip the actual YouTube tutorial. If you zip this folder, it's not gonna work as the mod pack download. You take these two folders inside of the YouTube tutorial thing that we made here. So just take those two and create an archive or add to an archive. Now, this is one of the biggest mistakes I've seen with the videos that are currently on YouTube about making a Technic Launcher mod pack. People go ahead and they name this modpack.zip. This actually screws up the download on the Technic platform. So if you do this and create the mod pack as modpack.zip, your mod pack is not going to properly download um, on the Technic Launcher you're going to get a vanilla version of whatever version of Minecraft. We would have gotten a 1.12 version of vanilla Minecraft. Name this whatever the hell you want. So we'll name this YouTube Tutorial Fitch Lines. .zip. Make sure it's a .zip folder, but also make sure 
It is not named Mod Pack. Press OK. Now we have our zip file. The Mod Pack is successfully created in terms of folders. Now I'm going to show you how to upload it up to uh, Dropbox here. Okay, so you're going to need to create a Dropbox account. That should be generally easy as well, especially if you have a Gmail, you can just log in through your um, Google account. Anyway, once you've created a login here on Dropbox, you just go ahead and um, upload a file. So we're going to go back to the desktop. Um, and we can just go inside here, the YouTube tutorial, and click open and upload the mod pack that we made. Also, just to note this, so in case that's uh, confusing in any way, you can just go back here to the folder that holds all the files for the mod pack, grab the actual mod pack, and drop it into the uh, Dropbox screen, and it will upload it in case that's easier for you. Now what you want to do in order to make the link for your mod pack is hit share right here, create a link, copy link, most of the time that copies it, just in case I'd right click and copy. Now we're going to want to go back here to the actual Technic web page here. Now we hit edit mod pack. enter in that um, URL that Dropbox gave you to share your link change this um, DL equals 0 to DL equals 1 what that means is it's going to change this to the download and prepare one file batch for the mod pack this is very important if you leave this at 0 it will not download the mod pack now we're simply going to hit update mod pack here the changes are going to save click on overview now we're going to install this mod pack. So go ahead and install the mod pack by clicking there and copying your link. Once you've gotten the link copied, all you have to do is open the Technic Launcher itself here. Go to Mod Packs, Add or Search, and then Control V obviously to paste and install your mod pack. Okay, if you see this screen right here, you know you've done something right to the point where Forge is loading instead of the vanilla version of Minecraft loading. So this means we're at least loading mods for right now. If you don't see this, bad news, you're definitely um, doing something wrong. Okay, so seven mods have been loaded, seven mods are active. We've successfully created a mod pack here. Just to show you guys, we just go here to single player, we do uh, create a world, survival, whatever. Okay, and as you can see, the mod pack is functioning. Uh, you can see my little journey map there in the right corner. JEI with its large item list is popped up here in the corner, which means it'll show off all of the mods that I can see, or I mean, I, this will show off all of the mods that I do have downloaded, all the items. Wonderful tool. If you don't know what JEI is, I have a video for that. I'll link there at the end. Let's see. Um, what was it? Iron Chest was the other one that we downloaded? Yeah, okay. So yeah, there it is. There's all the Iron Chest mods. So everything downloaded properly. JEI, we know how to craft it by clicking on it. If you guys have any issues at all, go ahead and add me on Discord or join my YouTube Discord and you can message me there or leave comments and concerns below and I'll try to help you and address those as I see them and just kind of help you guys because I know this can be super frustrating making a mod pack. So for now, that's all you're going to need to create a mod pack on the Technic platform. This is Fitch Lion signing off. 
reminding you to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful or you enjoyed the content. But for now, Hakuna Matata, don't swim in lava. See you in the next one.